How to start up your Samsung Galaxy S22 and Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I will be starting up my Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Uh, just getting it to the home screen, getting it through the startup, the activation uh, wizard. I just press and held the side button there and the phone powered on. There's a little vibration. So Samsung Galaxy, um, a little powered by Android. It's an Android device. I will be starting this guy up. Get it to the home screen, going through some of the settings and stuff like that to get to that home screen. So here it is, starting up. We are at 48% battery life. I don't know if it comes fully charged or not. If it's been sitting a while, it might not be fully charged or charged at all. Uh, mine is. So we got a welcome screen, and we are selecting the language. It is currently set to English. That's what I want. If you want a different language, select, select on that arrow and select the language you want. Once you have it selected, hit start. And here there are some terms and agreements and you have to agree to pretty much you have to agree to oh you have to agree to at least two of them diagnostic data you don't have to agree to so let's go ahead and select those and hit that and here we are permission for Samsung apps and services um, if you're wanting to use some of the stuff or not location services if you don't want that you can turn that off call logs I'm just gonna hit more and then hit agree Moving on, uh, for the activation purpose, if you have a SIM card, you can activate it with the SIM card. I do not, so I will be just using my internet. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. So just like that, I got my password in there. I'm just going to go ahead and select connect. And I will connect through the Wi-Fi network. Connecting, checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Previous screen didn't, but here we go. It says that this may take a few minutes. This is definitely taking a few minutes to get through this screen. And just like that, we are looking at um, apps, so copy apps and data. If you are using a different uh, device, you can transfer your um, transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. I'm not going to copy, so I'm going to hit do not copy. Checking for info. And just like that, it's asking to sign into a Google account. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Are you sure you want to skip? can go ahead and skip that scroll down hit accept and then here it's asking for a passcode password I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that as well you sure you want to uh, you don't want to protect your phone I'm gonna skip getting the phone ready uh, this would take a few minutes This is definitely taking a few minutes getting that phone ready. Screens have taken a little bit longer than I normally remember them taking, so it takes takes a little while. Just kind of bear with it. And just like that, it has gone through. I'm setting up a Samsung account. Um, sign in autofill passwords. Sign in local lost devices. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip all that. Um, and this is what you're missing out on gives you a big old list I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip all that stuff I could set up later and here it says you're all finished up you can explore your galaxy or hit finish and there we are we are at the home screen get our first few notifications of everything updating So there we are, finally got to the home screen, got it here from swiping down, we got these settings, we got more little shortcuts up here on top, swiping from the bottom up, we're getting a bunch of apps, any apps that you download will come into here. If you swipe this way, you should get your Google account, as you guys can see I'm not signed in. Swipe in this other direction, if you had more apps on the side, it'll take you there. Um, the stock apps, Galaxy Store, Play Store, Google, Microsoft, got our camera, 
Chrome for internet, messages, and calls. And there's a few more of them in here that are not out on top. But there you guys have it. A little shortcut menu here that you can go through. You can customize. You can edit that. And there should be possibly a second screen for contacts. So if you are into that. So there we go. Recently used apps. Home screen. Back. Typical Samsung Android type. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody looking for this information, please do share it with them. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a good day.